besides, worst comes to worst, I'll be your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Tell you what, when we're 40, if neither of us are married, what do you say you and I get together and have one? Why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I just meant hypothetically. All right, there's a nuclear holocaust. I'm the last man on Earth. Would you go out with me? Eh. <laughs> but theoretically, you know, I mean, say we weren't friends. Say it's a blind date. I show up at your door and I'm like, uh, hey, nice to meet you. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> That's that weird voice again. Okay, okay, let me try it again. You're gonna want to date this next guy, I swear. Okay, come on. <laughs> Monica, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Listen, I appreciate you getting me the costume. Oh, you did this too? <laughs> I thought he'd love it. His favorite kid's book was The Velveteen Rabbit. The Velveteen Rabbit was brown and white. Well, it was either a pink bunny or no bunny at all. No bunny at all. Always no bunny at all. No, no, no. No, I, I just meant hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I... no, what is it? Seriously, is there something fundamentally unmarriable about me? Uh, uh... Well... Nice try. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Look, Monica. <laughs> this is not gonna work. But right, this will work. <laughs> <laughs> you are so great, I love you. Nothing. I said, I said, you're so great. And then I just, I just stopped talking. You said you love me. I can't believe this. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You love me. No, I don't. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I love you so much. I know that too. Mm. For so long, I, I wondered if I would ever find my prince, my soulmate. Then three years ago, at another wedding, I turned to a friend for comfort. And instead, I found everything that I'd ever been looking for my whole life. And now, here we are, with our future before us. And I only want to spend it with you. My prince, my soulmate, my friend. Monica, I thought this was going to be the most difficult thing I ever had to do. But when I saw you walking down that aisle, I realized how simple it was. I love you. Any surprises that come our way, it's okay because I will always love you. You are the person I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. You want to know if I'm sure? All right. Okay, all right. I think you're great. I think you're sweet and you're smart. And I love you. But you will always be the guy who peed on me. <laughs>